Hello. Oh, we are gonna make a very, very simple card, okay? All you need is a card front that is four and a quarter by five and a half. You need a strip that is five and a half by one inch or less. Oops, why am I doing that one? I don't wanna do that one. <laughs> and an A2 card. Alrighty, so depending on how wide your strip is, mine is one inch, so I'm gonna go down by a quarter of an inch. So I need to remember three quarters of an inch, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do with this, is I'm gonna cut off three quarters of an inch. Alrighty, so let's trim this off by three quarters of an inch. There, alrighty, and that can go on the inside of the card. Now this is our new front, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a decision. Do we want, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half long ways and put this down underneath it. So we need to make a decision. Do we want it right smack dab in the middle? Do we want it down towards the bottom a little, down towards the top or up towards the top? I think I wanna do it about down here. So that means I'm gonna cut mine about right here. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to cut it approximately right there. Ta-da! Because now we can, when we put the card together, because we've only cut it at three quarters of an inch wide, and this is one inch wide, then we'll be able to see this without the white showing behind it. And that's all we're going to do, except for we're going to 3D this up. Okay? So... We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lay this down and lay this down because we wanna see where our colored piece is gonna be. And you can use decorative paper or you can use another solid color. So it doesn't matter. You can, you can do this whole thing with cardstock if you want to. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. And the markings are going to be covered up anyways, so it doesn't matter if you use a pen or a pencil. But just go ahead and mark it right inside like that, okay? And then we're going to take and we're going to glue this piece down. In there. Then we're going to make sure that we line that up and cover up that. And line it up with the edge so it's nice and straight. And then just go ahead and press that down. And that looks pretty just like that, doesn't it? But now we're going to take this piece, we're going to turn it over, and we're going to put some 3D foam on there. And oh, I have this last piece off of that roll I can use. And as you see, I'm using scraps, so this is this was actually a folder. So there's slits in here where the where the uh, business card went, but I just put double stick tape on it, double sided tape on it, and that holds it closed. So, and on one side, on the inside, you don't see it, which is nice, the inside portion of the, of the folder. All right, so we wanna put this on, let's see, I'm thinking maybe three pieces. This one I could do one whole one. And then this one, I'll just get half of these. So what I'll do is I'll cut this in half long ways. One on there, one on here, and I'll cut this one in half long ways. And I'll just use this all up. And then I'll be done with it. Yay! Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and remove the release paper. Boy, is it windy and noisy out there. My goodness. All right, so this is going to go towards the edge. All righty. This one's going to go towards the edge. And there. And this one can go right in the middle. Perfect. All right. So then we just need to put some glue on this. And I have a... Where's my glue stick right there? I put it away. Alrighty. Glue stick works the best for this. Alright. This was the end of the roll, so it's got the, 
the cardboard center adhered to it. But that's okay. This works. All right, so then we're gonna lay this down and we wanna match it up with the top. So excuse my head. Make sure you match it up with the sides and the top. There, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna do that on the bottom. All right, so we can put this down here. And I'm wondering if I should, maybe I should separate this and do it in pieces in between. That might be better, so that way I can get it down the whole length and uh, along sides. Otherwise, that's just gonna tip the way that, if I would've just put that one long skinny piece in there. All righty, let's see if I can get all these pieces up now. Oh yes, all righty. So there's one. Here's two. Yeah, this will be better. So, these tapes are really spiraling around there. I love these colors together. They're so pretty. That blue and that yellow. That's just gorgeous. All right. That's much better. Now, it'll lay flat. Much better than if I would have done that one long strip right down the middle, because it wasn't very wide, then it would have been wonky. It would have tipped back and forth, and I didn't want that. So this makes better use of it. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and put this on. You wanna line it up with this side and along the bottom. Very good. That is a pretty card. I like it. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. What a handsome looking card. All right, so now we just have to decorate it. So let's look and see what we've got to decorate with. Oh, let's see. Will any of this match? Ooh, maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure it will. Oh, I like that tree. That would be pretty. Let's see. These are just laying there saying, use me, use me. The stuff on my desk talks to me. Does it talk? Does your stuff talk to you? <laughs> All right. That's pretty. This really does match. Let's see what this one would look like. I wonder if that would take away from that, though. I'm going to try this one first. That's what I looked at first. Oh, that's pretty. Ah. <gasps> I do like the tree. Oh, I like it. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it because I do really like that. Okay, that's not sticky, so I just have to glue that on. Okay. So I just need glue at the bottom, and up at the top, and here because it's gonna go across there. Oh, I wanted it up a little bit higher. Yeah, okay right there perfect that's pretty all right and then i can put a word or something let's see sunny days super fun day summer summer memories let's play sunny days let's do sunny days that's a pretty yellow and that definitely matches i like that we do that or here In there. Ooh, I like it right in there. Let's just go for it. That looks perfect in there. Very nice. I like that. That's pretty. Okay. So now, is there a bird or something on here? Something that can be up this way or no? Well, there's a little banner. We could have a banner on. Let's see. Rainbow banner. I like this banner. I think this one will match. Why the heck not? Let's go for it. 
not too shabby. Alrighty, I could put two. Do I need two? Let's see what this one looks like with it. Oh, that's pretty, but that does not match. So no, that's not gonna go on there. That's going back in the board holder. All right, and we're gonna put this one on because that's pretty. I wanted to keep it the same warm colors. There, all right, that's pretty. What is simple card? Just three little elements. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? And see if you can see that slid a little bit there, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. I like the way that came out. There, so now we have this strip that we cut away. So we can add this on the inside. And that'll be really pretty right there. Ta-da! Why not? I like making the inside to match the outside. It's fun. And it just takes something as simple as this. I tap it, make sure it's straight on the bottom. Nice. I like that. What a nice looking card. All right. So what do you think of that? Simple dimple, huh? So a one inch or less strip that can go across the bottom there. And then you just cut it whatever size strip you have, they'd cut down by one quarter of an inch. And then you just cut this open wherever you want it to put your piece and 3D these two pieces up. I like that. Alrighty, so I hope you do like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.